We're back in After Effects, and in this video, we're only gonna be talking about creating motion graphics from scratch. What's great about this video is you can use all these techniques or just one of them to help you just enhance your motion graphics work right here inside of After Effects. We're gonna be creating an assortment of really cool custom graphics for your titles, your logos, your explainer videos, any project you're working on, you just pick and choose what you want from this video. So hey, what's going on internet? This is Josh Noel from Sunduck Film. Welcome to our channel. If you're new here, be sure to hit that subscribe button because why wouldn't you? We produce a lot of delicious After Effects content right here. Uh, but I hope you're doing excellent today. We're gonna jump into our first technique, which we're gonna be creating custom line animations that will help bring attention to the specific parts of your videos right here in After Effects. And if you want to follow along with our tutorial here, you may download our project files for absolutely free. That link will be in the description. All right, to create this custom line, it's super simple and fun to do. What we'll do here is grab the pen tool right here at the top and make sure you click on the word fill, set that to none and click OK. Click on the word stroke, set the solid color and click OK. So what we're gonna do here is create custom path. So we'll make sure nothing is selected in our timeline and we'll click a point anywhere within your composition. And we'll click another point while holding down shift on our keyboard and this will allow us to create a curve. And then we come down here to say the bottom of our title, we wanna create like a line that loops around it. We'll go ahead and do that. And you can adjust the middle point as you see fit. Okay, and we may change up our stroke width to eight. And I think that'll look great right there. Then what we're gonna do is open up our shape layer here and we'll go to contents, go to shape one and we'll go to stroke one. And we'll come here to taper and this is a new feature within the last you know year, year and a half. And what we're gonna do is come here to start length and set that up to 100% and also the end length, both those 100%. Then we'll come here to the start and end ease and set that up to 100% as well. And now you get a really nice rounded line here and we'll come here to add and we'll add a trim paths to this. We'll open up the trim paths one. We'll go to the beginning of our timeline. We'll add a keyframe for end and we'll move that keyframe forward to one second and we'll set the end down to 0%. Then we'll add a keyframe for start, go to one second and set it up to 100% as well. We'll grab all the keyframes and hit F9 on our keyboard and I'll make them easy, easy keyframes. We'll come here to the graph editor real quick and we'll click on one parameter here. We'll grab the keyframe and we'll, all we're gonna do is drag out these handles to really smooth out the animation. It looks beautiful. And we'll do that for both start and end. Awesome. Then unclick the graph editor and we can grab say the top keyframes here and just offset them by a few frames like this. So now what's gonna happen, we're gonna have this very nice smooth line around our title like this. And you're welcome to duplicate it and create another variation around your composition and that looks really nice. And to quickly duplicate these, it's very easy to do it. So what you do is take your shape layer, duplicate it, and what we do is go into our shape layer, go to contents and go into the path here and just delete it. Then you can come here to the pen tool and you can draw out another path. And when you're happy with your path, all you do is you go into that new shape there. You bring that path one into shape one and you delete the new shape two. And now you'll have another animated line with those same exact settings. So feel free to duplicate that and offset it in your timeline. And with my lines here, I'm able to add a little bit of a nice detail to my composition. Technique number two is all about bringing more detail to your compositions by using circle splodes. All right, to create some circle splodes, we'll come here to the top and we'll grab the ellipse tool this time. We'll make sure the fill is set to solid color and we'll turn off the stroke. And we'll come here to the middle of our composition here and we'll just draw out a perfect circle by holding down shift on our keyboard and we can just center this up for now. All right, we're gonna take the shape layer, we'll open it up and we'll come here to the ellipse one and we'll go into that, go to transform ellipse one. Come here to the beginning of our timeline and we're gonna add a keyframe for scale. And we'll move this keyframe forward in our timeline to maybe 15 frames and we'll set the scale down to 0%. And what we'll do is grab both these keyframes, hit F9 on our keyboard for easy ease and we'll quickly do that graph editing technique. And then after that's done, what we'll do is we'll take our ellipse one, we'll close it up and we'll duplicate it, go to edit, duplicate. And we'll hit U on our keyboard for the keyframes. Grab the bottom keyframes here and we'll just offset it in time by a little bit like this. So what's gonna happen is you're gonna have the circle pop in, you know, whatever, right? So what we'll do is go back in that shape layer and we'll click on the word contents, go to add, and we're gonna add a merge paths. And we'll come here to merge paths one and we'll set that mode to subtract. So now, boom, that looks great. So what we can do now is awesome. We're gonna take our circle layer here and we're gonna duplicate it and we're just gonna move it randomly around the comp and continue to create duplicates that are just moved around our composition. You know, it doesn't have to be any specific reason for it, just move it around. 
And then when you're happy with the amount of circles you have, just come here and offset them randomly in your timeline and you'll thank me a little bit later. So now we'll have these really cool circle explodes in our composition and it just helps add a little bit more detail to this you know, plain work that we had here. Before we move on, if you're looking to produce high quality motion graphics within a matter of minutes, I want to show you our 1400 plus motion graphics professionals pack. So this is our motion graphics extension window. We have a lot of elements in here, but I want to show you some of the cool motion graphics that we have that you can enhance your composition with the click of a button. So you can hover over a template that you like and you can click on apply. And with the click of a button, we have all these really cool motion graphics that would have taken us a tremendous amount of time to create, but we can take this even further. We can update this. So we go into that composition and we go to our control layer and we can quickly change all the colors as we see fit. And back in our main composition, it completely updates and it looks just awesome. And this pack literally has over 1400 elements in this one extension. So be sure to check out our links in the description. I'll take you right over to our website. If you do pick up any pack we have, you will be supporting our channel. So thank you very much. Now back at it for technique number three, we're going to create line circles, which will make your work pop. All right, circle line explodes are super easy to create. So what we're gonna do is we'll grab the pen tool. This time we'll make sure that the fill is off and the stroke is set to solid color. And from the center of our composition, we can bring up the title size by coming to this icon and making sure that's turned on. So what we're gonna do is right above this line, we'll add a point. So click, move up a little bit, hold down shift on your keyboard and click a point and that will allow you to create a straight line. All right, so what we'll do is we'll come here Go to add and we're going to add a repeater to this. We'll open repeater one and we'll set the number of copies to four, but you can do as many as you want. Then we'll open a repeater one or transform repeater one, set the X position right here from 100 to zero. And we'll come here to the rotation and you're just going to want to increase that depending on how many lines you have to until it's in a perfect you know, alignment. So for me, it's going to be 90 degrees. And if you come here to the Y anchor point, this will allow you to expand your circle line like so. Now I want to help refine these lines because I don't like them whatsoever. Come here to stroke one and where it says line cap, I'm going to set this to round cap and I'll make it a little bit thicker. All right, then let's come here to add and we're going to add a trim paths. And this time we'll add a keyframe for end, of course, move that keyframe forward, set the end to 0% and we'll add a keyframe for start and we'll set that up to 100% like so. We can move those keyframes forward and feel free to make those easy ease keyframes and go in the graph editor and do what we've been doing with that. And if you match up my keyframes like mine, you'll have this animation. And as we do our circles, we can duplicate these and move it randomly around our comp and offset it in our timeline. So now by adding these circle lines into here, we have all these elements combined and it just looks awesome. Like we did a lot of work, but we did it relatively pretty quick. And for the last motion graphics that we're gonna create, we're gonna use the power of shape lines to highlight our projects. All right, so we'll spruce this up with a big line shape graphic. So we'll come here and grab any shape you want, but I love the polygon tool for this. So we'll grab that. And from the center of our composition, we'll hold down shift on our keyboard and we'll have this big graphic that will go around our title, for example. And we'll come here to our shape layer. We'll open up the contents, go to the polystar path one, and you can set the number of points to so any points you want, we'll do six. And boom, that's in the middle of our composition. So all we're gonna do to animate this is just use a simple trim paths and it looks great. And we'll come here to add and we'll add the trim path. We'll open that up and of course we'll add the keyframe for end and we'll move it forward and set it down to 0%, add a keyframe for start and go forward in your timeline and set that up to 100%. And then you can hit F9 keyboard for easy ease and then offset these in time. And once again, I'm gonna do that S curve thing uh, with the two handles here for each keyframe. And that will allow this to be quite snappy like that. And that's awesome. So we can take this even further. We'll take our shape layer here. We'll duplicate it and we'll ask our keyboard for scale. We'll scale this one up. We can change the color to another color here and we'll duplicate it once more. And we'll scale this one down to be an inner line. And we'll just kind of offset these kind of, maybe not randomly, maybe a staircase animation. So now what's going to happen with these shape layers is it'll be staircase like that and beautiful. So now you have a big line graphic that just stands out with all the other cool motion graphics. And there's another After Effects tutorial all said and done. Remember, you can use any of these techniques all together or just one at a time. So pick and choose whatever project you're working on. I promise that these you know, small motion graphics will help enhance your work and just make things pop. Let me know in the comments down below which technique was your favorite. And if you're new to our YouTube channel, be sure to hit that subscribe button because we post multiple post-production tutorials every single week right here on the channel. You can also hit me up on my Instagram. We're posting two tutorials on there every single week. And always, 
be creating.